Bitch, oh my god. So I I don't think you can see this, but I'm using our um our cup and I put my wine in it and it looks like I took the bloodiest abortion of a shit and it's throwing me. <laughs> That's disgusting. Why I love you it so do much? That? Oh my god, and it's so fitting because I've had such bad diarrhea all week. Oh, really? Why? It's the corona. Yes. You got it. That's that. That's I it. don't know what it is. I put, you know what? Here's the thing, and I've been trying to exp- I told you, 2021 was the year I was going to become a verse king. Yeah. And I tried to experiment. I've been using like fiber just, pills. It's, you know what? Yes. <laughs> A terrible time. It's been a terrible time. I'm not meant to be a bottom. That's what I'm learning. <laughs> Let's just fiber. We're we using like laxatives too, or just fiber pills. I don't know. I don't think I'm. I think I'm using too much, or I don't know. I don't Maybe. think I know what I'm doing. I don't know. Uh, isn't fiber pills to be like put the poop together? Isn't that what helps put the? Poop I don't know. And, into like one I also, single like, log. I I, I don't. I don't I, listen. I have no idea. All I know is that I was like, "Hmm, let me get this like little thing," because people are like, "Maybe you need to like practice exploring that area and like putting things in it." So I was like, "Hmm, let me see." And I did like the smallest little thing. I was like, "Let me like explore this realm," and I haven't like it's it's been a week and it still hurts when I shit. <laughs> And I don't like it. Oh my god! But yes, Mike. In um, order to bottom, oh, you have to. Welcome to Messy. Hello. Hello. Welcome to Messy. <laughs> welcome to Messy. I'm sorry. Oh my god. But yes, Mike, in order to bottom, you have to like practice and like build and like start small and grow. It's a muscle, you gotta stretch it out, you know? I'm like a ballerina. <laughs> I don't know. Welcome to Messy. Welcome to Messy. Episode two, season three. Season three, episode two. Revenge of the Bussy. I don't know. Hello. (laughs) Um, Today, uh, well, when this comes out on Wednesday, it's inauguration day. So let's hope. Oh, (laughs) let's hope nothing. Oh, so we free. Let's hope nothing terrible is happening. (laughs) As you're listening to this. <laughs> True. <laughs> but if yeah, it is, that's, hey, that's hey, a- look at us. Look at us. We're a distraction. Hey, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, gay wow, shit. Are you gay excited? shit. <laughs> excited? Are you excited for the new era? For the new what? Administration? No. <laughs> the new. Why not? It's a new era. We don't have a stain. The new era. It's like we. It's like the new era. It's like we've had like. <laughs> <laughs> it's a new era. A new era. era. <laughs> We've had stained underwear this entire time, and now we're, like, putting on a fresh pair, you know? Like, I don't think Joe Biden is the best, but it's like, Trump's gone. He's gone. Thank she's God. God. Hopefully. Uh, I mean, hopefully he's just gone for good. Let's be honest. Hopefully. Let's, also, let first of all, this is the second podcast in a row that I've showered, and I can't stop looking at myself. Bitch. You do look cute. She you, got you're, you're, like, well gelled and everything. I love how your Netflix just on in the background. You <laughs> You have everything right now. Okay. Here's the thing about that. Um, there's my dirty laundry. That's mm-hmm. actually clean. I just, ha- I hate, I hate hanging up laundry. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. It's the worst Same. part. It's the worst thing. So it's all actually clean, just not hung up. And um, I, that has been on for five days. I lost my remote and I can't find the button on the TV to turn it off. Mike. <laughs> No, is that wait? Is that a wait, Mike? Is it a Roku TV? I don't know. Is it Roku? No, it's a Vizio. Is it a smart TV? What is it? Uh, Maybe it's a Vizio. It might be Roku. There might be an app because if it's a smart TV, there might be an app for the remote, so you can like just get the app and connect to the Wi-Fi with the same TV, and it will turn off. Sir, or you can unplug it. Are you about to unplug it? Are you about to unplug it? That's cheating. Stop oh my cheating. god, that's a great idea! Un- I can just unplug it. I hate you. I hate you so much. <laughs> oh my god, it's awesome! <laughs> oh my god. This okay, has been well, a 
five day dilemma. Matt. Glad, this glad we figured problem. it out. This has been an, a- this has been glad, an actual problem. I'm glad we figured out all your problems today. I'm so glad to help oh, you. See? see, that's what friends are for. And that's what friends are for. <laughs> I don't know the word. Speaking of that's what friends are for. Remember last night when I called you and I was like, what would you like? How would you feel if I was yeah, just like okay. saying the N word yeah. with my chest? <laughs> what a very weird, unprompted thing to ask a black person. <laughs> yes. Well, because, because I was feeling a little crazy and okay, I keep seeing no. like there's there's more like I see Trisha Paytas came out with like this video where she's like, I'm done being friends with Jeffrey and Shane. Oh, yeah, I saw that. Do you want to talk about that? We could because I made a whole rant video and then I decided not to post it because I'm like, I don't want to put more negativity out. Okay, the world. Like we could, but then we also do not have to. We don't have to. We don't. But we could. But, <laughs> but we could. <laughs> but at the same time, like, do we? <laughs> you know? I mean, we have an hour to record with no plan. So I say, <laughs> let's just get crazy. <laughs> but it's like, I'm, tired, really of, I'm tired of talking about them. You know what I mean? For people that are canceled... For people that are canceled, people seem to talk about yes. them a lot more recently than ever before. So, yeah, <laughs> I, you know, what? I will agree and I'll leave it at this because that's actually a great point. That's why I didn't post the video. I didn't even actually edit it. I was going to make a whole video being like, I'm tired of hearing these people's names. This is like everything that's wrong with them. But at the same time, I'm like, I'm just regurgitating information that everybody already fucking knows. Why am yeah, I going to keep talking about these people? Knows everyone knows it. And Trisha was like, oh, now like he didn't take my side. So like I'm going to make a video and I'm done being friends with them. I'm like, you yeah, like, I've been such a good friend for this person. I'm like, but if you're a friend, that doesn't mean that you support them even when they're out there being very problematic and racist. So I was like, let me use Mac as an example. Mac, <laughs> if I was out here saying the N word, would you have my back or would you like hold me accountable? That was Is the whole that point. why you asked me that? <laughs> Yes, I just wanted to see like a real friend reaction. Well, I'm like the worst person. I'm a black person. You got to ask another white person about this. Because that's what's going on over there. Okay? That's a different scenario. You're you're my only YouTube friend. (laughs) I don't trust any of these hoes for this exact reason. (laughs) Wow, wow, wow. Well, I'm drinking. I'm changing the subject for a second. I am drinking. um, It is Monster Belvedere Vodka. And a little bit of orange sun kiss and some lime juice. Basically, every anything I can find in the refrigerator mixed with vodka. <laughs> but that sounds. I mean, I mean, I'm a bartender, and that all works. <laughs> Thank you. I th- I thought it would. It does too. It tastes great. Okay, so what about I the bet N-word? it does. <laughs> no, I was just I was I was hoping we were going to take a left from that conversation <laughs> because one thing I just wanted to like you know as a cis white male in America. I, you know, it's probably better if I just shut my fucking mouth. <laughs> <laughs> you know? <laughs> well, yeah, interesting. It's an inter- um, I, don't, I don't fully know the drama with Trisha Paytas. I just know she's mad about something and she's crying again like she did two she weeks was ago mad. about something she's else. She's always mad. So she's always mad. She's always upset. Um, I believe some people say that she has um, borderline personality disorder, apparently. And this is like a very normal case of what's happening. I don't know. know I don't what? know. I don't, I, I don't, I, just, I, don't be, I don't believe. I, I don't want to leave it. Internet. I don't believe anything. People I don't believe anything. Saying because stuff. Especially when you're going to be mad. <laughs> you're going to be mad that no one believes you or no one like thinks like, why isn't anyone on my side? Cause you've also made a video that you are an African American person and also a video identifying as a chicken nugget. So also a video saying you were a trans man because she was dressed up as Zac Efron for a video. <laughs> yeah, and like now all, now she's nine now she's non-binary. And I'm like, here's the thing. I'm never here to, you know, yuck anybody's yum. I'm I will support you no matter what you say you are, whether I believe it or not. But when your identity changes with the click through rate, then I have an issue. Do you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> then there's a bigger story to be told there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, I feel that. Uh, but no, I, I think I, we don't have to talk about anybody specifically. I'm just like, I hate when I see. 
I hate when I see people that are influencers or like on any platform and when they have a falling out with a friend or something, they make a video about it and they monetize yes. it or yes. they don't. I'm like, if you do that, then you were never actually friends. You were never I, actually friends. I said that and I, I did an interview earlier this earlier last year that never got published. And I say that too. And I was like, if you see a creator having a very private conversation in the public eye that is not a creator you should be following that is a toxic person <laughs> yes <laughs> point blank period. yeah because hey listen whenever i have a falling out with somebody it's private like you never you too you and i you, you never hear us being like i don't like this person because they did this to me no we're handling no, it behind business we don't, like, we if don't I point ever, you like that if you and i ever had like a fucking fight and then we make a video about it. Like you dumb our friendship down <laughs> to the point of YouTube content of, of a of a click. No, I'm yeah. That would that would be terrible. If I if that ever happened to me <laughs> no. and a friend, I'd be like, okay, we're there's never any way or form we're gonna like become friends again. You know, if you were to just no, randomly make a video, like not. if you were to randomly make a video about me, I'd be like, okay, so this friendship is over. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like I gotta reevaluate this shit. Same thing with like, the relationship. You remember, like when you when I, I think I told you, I told you in the last podcast when you made the video about um, people, I guess questioning your sexuality still more. Um, some people thought that mm. video was about me. <laughs> I know, and I, like, and I had to tell people, I was like, no, if Mike had a problem with me, he would literally call me in the middle of the night at 3 a.m. yelling at me for no reason. I'd be like, what's happening? Why are you mad? Oh, yeah, 100%. <laughs> and, and if I ever have, like, a problem about, like, a real issue, maybe I got into a friend, a fight with a friend about that issue, I'll address the topic, but I won't ever address the person. Like, I was very much so screaming at somebody at the beginning of the video, a very good friend of mine. <laughs> yes. I'm not going to say who the fuck it was. <laughs> my friend! My friend! <laughs> It was a raw, real moment, Mac. <laughs> and I'm going to therapy, and it's been much better. So You going to therapy? Like, in-person therapy, or is it, like, virtual? No, no. Over-the-phone therapy. I'm over learning the phone. I'm learning to stop stop putting value in, in what other people say when it comes to things about myself, mm-hmm. if that makes any sense. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I, I, I did. Mean, it's kind of like, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I think it's good for all people that are in the queer space, mental health. Like, you know, if you're like, I, I don't know. I feel like stuff like sexuality and gender identity is a um, an, an exploration. And it's something, that, you know, you're continually learning about yourself and it could change. So, mm-hmm. but people want you to like say what it is in, uh, definitively. And it's hard because when that changes, it makes it harder for people to believe you or like validate who you are. So at the end of the day, it's kind of just like, you have to understand that that's your own journey. And if somebody else has trouble believing that, that doesn't, invalidate it or make it any less true and not to take it so personally and just let the, let them do them and you just do you yeah and punch them in the tit yeah and the titties yeah, are the nuts yeah, punch them in the tit have you, ever hit, nuts. have you ever hit somebody in the nuts have you ever hit somebody in the nuts <laughs> no by accident yes but not on purpose have you have you ever bit nuts? somebody in the nuts have you ever no what? but i bit somebody in the nuts bit somebody, bit somebody like, in the nuts were you like going so hardcore on that cock that suddenly your mouth just like slipped off and like attack no, the nuts no. <laughs> or was like no a i didn't like no i actually did not like them so then i seduced them and when i had a moment i bit their dick that was me being like i don't like you mike you could have just walked away welcome to messy <laughs> with mac and mike it's mac <laughs> and mike honestly yeah mike you know there's a thing called walking away being the bigger person <laughs> No. bit their dick. No, what did they do? What, wait, what did they do anything to prompt you to be like, I need to bite their dick? Like, what was the action? They, yes, <laughs> yes. They mildly <laughs> inconvenienced me. I was disrespected and I needed to make amends. You so were I mildly inconvenienced. So you completely traumatized them as a human being? Yes, the fuck I did. <laughs> and what about it? What about yeah. It? There are people... <laughs> There are people where, like, that's... I don't know what it is about me. I think it's a toxic thing. It's probably one of my most toxic traits. Like, if there's somebody I don't like, Mm -hmm. or, like, say I find out somebody doesn't like me, I will make it a point to seduce them. And then, like, right when they're like, let's get out of here, like, let's go to a bar, I'll be like, sure, just let me go to the bathroom real quick. And I'll just leave. Because I'm being in my head and like, got you. Got you, bitch. What happened to liking me, bitch? Oh, you want to go home with me? I'm going to leave your ass at this bar. I've done it several times. That's so nice. See, you you do you do you do the short you do the short revenge. I do like entire mental warfare. Like I completely <laughs> mess with a person's mind to the point that they like leave Los Angeles. You know, 
<laughs> Ooh. And I'm like, I don't mean Give me an to. Example. I just, I mean. Give me an example. <laughs> there's, there's, a, there's, a, there's a small handful. It's not for, like, people that have done anything wrong for me. It's usually for, because, you know, my mother. If someone's done something wrong with, like, mm-hmm. one of my friends or one of the people I've claimed was my child. <laughs> <laughs> I'll get to know that person. I'll get to know them really close, really well, you know. Tell me everything about your life. Tell me all your hardships. Let me see if I can help you. Yes. Oh, suddenly yes. I'm like, I'm not available. Oh, suddenly. Oh, wait, what? Oh, you have problems? Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, wait. Oh, they're getting oh worse. God. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, my God. Gaslight. Here's, here's, gaslight. <laughs> gaslight. Oh, you should here's not fuck with my friend. Oh, advice. I'm so sorry. Are you leaving Los Angeles because you couldn't handle it? Oh, I'm so Sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Suddenly we're not talking anymore. Yeah. That's what I do. Yeah. Wow. I love that. <laughs> Welcome to the podcast where we talk about how we're actually awful. <laughs> Welcome to the podcast where we sh- Maybe shed I'm our secret. Day. So yeah. Like out, anyone out there that thinks they're my friend, just just like second guess it real quick. I'm joking. <laughs> How are you though? How is everything going in life? I'm good. How, on you're, how's right your now. second week as an uncle? Um, I was supposed to go. See, I I'm afraid to go see my niece right now because I wanted to go see her again, um, this week, this past week, but I don't want to lift there. <laughs> I don't want to risk it because oh. it's very worse right Wait. now. And apparently, and apparently, there's a new strand of COVID that is found in Los Angeles, and so it's apparently like more contagious. Oh, yeah. And so I'm like, fuck, I'm not lifting anywhere. I'm not going to go near this child. This child hasn't been vaccinated of their like original vaccines first. So I'm really Mac, afraid a new to hover around of this COVID. kid. There's a new strand of COVID and a new strand of gonorrhea. Yeah, super. No, super gonorrhea has been around for no, a while. No, it's an even. If, no, it's an even more aggressive version of gonorrhea. So it's Mac, so it's super duper gonorrhea. Yes, super duper gonorrhea. Here's super the thing: duper. people have been so nasty and irresponsible during COVID that we've literally created a new STD. A new STD. People have been very. That's Los Angeles. Irresponsible we for a so while. Hard. I know super gonorrhea <laughs> has been a thing before this new super gonorrhea because I believe mm. Usher or I think Usher got it. Some big celebrity, Nuh-uh. like a f- like Nuh-uh. I think last year or like a year before, got like super gonorrhea, and that's when it became like a, a, a known news fact. It was like this is a thing that's traveling around Los Angeles. <laughs> So really? yeah, I remember that. Yes, I heard that in like a I heard I heard it in a podcast. I listen to podcasts now. That's a new fact. You about didn't listen. You no. didn't listen to podcasts. I didn't listen to podcasts at all. I, I I make a podcast, but I don't listen to podcasts. What the fuck? I didn't know that about you. <laughs> you know I listen to podcasts all the time. Yeah, I don't really listen to podcasts. I'm more of a music gal. But I started listening to podcasts. They're funny. I listen to Cole Byers. What's your favorite? What now. podcast are you listening to right now? Nicole Byer. Special Nicole Byer. Why don't you date me? hilarious podcast hilarious hilarious podcast it is the funniest podcast i ever heard i mean i don't, I don't read this the podcast so i don't know any other funny podcasts out there but it's the funniest podcast i've heard well, so far also love nicole byer <laughs> I, I love i love nailed it that's one of the greatest shows love on netflix. nailed it it is one of the funniest also, shows on netflix haven't you been on a few podcasts people always calling you to be on their podcast <laughs> even though yes, i will I, say no I've you've been, been on, on several no, no, recently you you've been on more podcasts than me I'm, I'm going to tell you that 100%. You've been on more podcasts than me. I've been on like... I've only been on two. I've been on... Yeah, I've been Watch on two. Watch the Safe Words podcast. Recently. Watch this, I did Watch the Safe Word, and then he said he was going to call you, and I said, no, don't call Mac. This is mine. Um, <laughs> <laughs> thank you, Amp. I did, I did, I did, we're having gay sex. I, I should recommend oh, you to them. If they you want to do that. No, they called, they, I they commented called on her TikTok. And I didn't know. No, I, I commented on her TikTok. She goes, oh, I know you. I had your co-host back on my podcast. Would you like to be on the podcast? And I was like, I would be honored. <laughs> Great. Talk about all the sex. She's going to gonna, She's gonna have a, I should warn her, like, you're going to have a field day with this one, girl. <laughs> yes. <laughs> he has some stories, girl. <laughs> I do. And, and I recently did um, Michelle Aiken's podcast, Break Up Your Bullshit. That was fun. Mm-hmm. That's cute. And you also did a live podcast. You did a few you. podcasts. You've done a few podcasts because of the, the oh, Lindsay Lohan do Beach the Club. Live podcast. The entire you forgot the Lindsay Lohan career, bitch. What? And oh yeah, Danny Pellegrino. <laughs> Danny Pellegrino. I want to go that back. Live one. I want to go back on Danny Pellegrino's podcast really, really bad because now when I went on his podcast, I've never watched The Housewives other than Jersey, now and now I've lot. seen every season of. I've need. I've seen every every one. Every one, even Photomac, whatever that one is called now. That's the one everyone's Photomac? talking about. 
Real Real Housewives no? of Potomac. I don't know how to say it. Potomac. Potomac. Okay. Mary, thank you. Potomac that's, and that's Salt the Lake one, City. But that's the one I see hashtag like Real Housewives of Potomac all the time. That's like always yes. trending. I'm like, what is this? I didn't know people were watching right Real now, Housewives like that. <laughs> right now, the best um, Housewives to like follow up on are the newer ones, which is Potomac and the brand new one, which is Salt Lake City, which is a trip. Salt Lake City. I'm still not over that. The fact that they made one for Salt Lake City, Utah. What's next? What will be the next big city to make a Real Housewives about? Like, what what Nebraska. haven't they craft? 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 Nebraska. Nebraska? What city in Nebraska? Mississippi. Real Housewives of Mississippi. Just no, farm real, bullshit. Real Housewives of Minneapolis or some shit. <laughs> yeah, no, like, I want, I want farm housewives. Like, I really want, like... Uh, I want drama like, you stole my pig. Like, shit like that. Like, that's what I want. Farm rich. The people. No, 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 no. Like, it's like Real Housewives of, like, Sonoma County, Napa Valley. And it's all, like, the vineyard rich people. The- they're rich motherfuckers up there. Oh, I'm surprised rich, rich. they haven't done a Real Housewives because they're rich, rich up there in wine country. Yeah. <laughs> Were you surprised that they did? Like, they have Real Housewives of Dallas and there was a lot of, like, racism. Are you surprised? <laughs> no, it's Texas. <laughs> At Texas, Dallas is racism? Texas to me, yeah, Dallas is very segregated. My family lives in the Dallas area. The, Texas is surprisingly extremely segregated. Um, sometimes yeah. I feel like Texas is just overcompensating of of its southernness because it's considered like Southwest. <laughs> <laughs> so it's trying really hard to be like, yeah, we're Southern, we're Confederate. No, you weren't Confederate. You were your own country, bitch. <laughs> you <little shit. laughs> um. But yeah, they should do a Real Housewives of like Sonoma County, Napa Valley, because these people own like acres upon acres. Like when, like I, my boyfriend lives up in Sonoma County, and whenever we're driving around, mm-hmm. we'll just like drive, and like suddenly we'll come across this like huge property, this like eight story mansion with like this gigantic vineyard around them, and he'd be like, "Oh yeah, that's the so and so family." I'm like, "What?" <laughs> Like, if you think Coastal Elite was, like, Los Angeles, you're wrong. Coastal Elite is, like, I North go. California. It's insane. They're rich, rich out I want to go with you next time. <laughs> Can I want to go, go with you. One day, one day I'm going to go with you to Jake's. I'm going to be the third wheel. Let's go. I want to I wanna take a lot of people up there, and let's go, like, wine tasting for, like, an entire weekend. I would love that. Let's just go I would crazy. love that so much. <laughs> I would. No, I would love that so much. I've actually, I've calmed down even more in my life. Michael's been uh, a bit of a hibernator. Mm-hmm. I've cut out everything officially other than drinking, which has been very good for my mental and physical health. <laughs> I like I stopped smoking and everything. I stopped you everything. Stop, you stopped the you stopped the weed. I stopped the weed. The um, weed. I mean, I, I, I think I think I think I think, I think weed is great. I, I, I'm not like shaming on that or at all. I, oh I no, I mean, yeah, it's time, great. But, it's medical. It's all this stuff. It's, it's good. But um, you shouldn't over it. I got too in dependent it. on it. To, I got too yeah, dependent on it to you can't sleep. Be dependent on it. And I started buying shit. I keep waking up in the morning and I get stoned and I buy shit on Amazon and I'm like, where does all my money go? And like, I bought a light bright. Why the fuck do I need saying, a light bright? Why the fuck did you buy a light bright? <laughs> I bought Mac, Mac. I bought two. <laughs> For a friend. If it, <laughs> Why? <laughs> I don't so know. Random. I have no idea. I've signed I signed up to a um a wine subscription. I just be signing oh, up for shit like God. I have this money. My dad signed up for a wine subscription and he gets send um like six one hundred and fifty dollar bottles of wine every month. Mm-hmm. <laughs> he just said it like it was casually. I'm like, father, excuse me. <laughs> No, yeah. Well, six bottles of wine a month, that's not a lot. $150 bottles each. Oh, six of them each. Yeah. Wow. Your family bougie. (laughs) My family is very bougie. Y'all don't know that. I love it. I do. I do. I love it. That's the secret. Um, I feel like a lot of people don't understand. A lot of people don't see that. People see, look at me and think like, oh, he's a bougie bitch. Like, you haven't seen my family, bitch. And surprisingly, (laughs) they're all from Compton, too. So it's like, where did all this bougie-ness come from? I don't know. Yeah. (laughs) No, you, 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 you're like, I feel like you're the least bougie, but like you're bougie, but you're more like bougie in your taste, not in the way like you carry yourself. Like you're not over here in like brand name clothing and stuff like that. You're very minimalist oh, no. in what you oh, need no. to be comfortable and to live, but you're bougie in like the the food and the, the wine or like, yeah, the, I don't, I don't care about level. clothes and all that stuff when it comes to like things that like go inside of me or things that like I use. I like to use like the top notch shit <laughs> things that go inside. Yeah, top notch dildos and everything. Yes, <laughs> yes. From dildos to I enemas, agree. all of it. 
<laughs> top notch. You know, Speaking I don't. Of I only. And enemas. I only douche with bedazzled enemas from Swarovski crystals. Um, <gasps> Oh my god. Next what? time we promote the messy podcast, let's make a video where we like bedazzle douches or something. No, we like should we bedazzle make- douches and we should make our own like award show called like the messy awards where we like award the messy yes, things. Yes, and we give away of the, year. the crystal douche. And we get rid of the crystal douche. <laughs> I would the love. crystal douche. Love. We call it we'll call it the crystal douche. That's the I award. Can't wait. I can't wait till we have a set. When we have, when we can have a set and we can invite people to it and we could do this shit, oh bitch, I will come everywhere. It's gonna be Just over for, for you, bitches. Show. It's gonna be over for you, bitch. Once we get a set again, <laughs> messy pie is gonna be mm-hmm. different. <laughs> Once we get a set again and the views go back up, <laughs> we gonna act like we don't know anybody. <laughs> Uh, speaking of douches and gay things, let's jump. You want to do gay agenda? Oh yeah, that's something I do, right? I have one. I have one too. I have a few. It's all drag race <laughs> right. related. But do you have one? You have oh, one perfect. too. Oh, perfect. So are mine. Okay, Ready? great. Oh, let's talk. Let's talk about drag race. Ready? <laughs> gay. Ready? Three, two, oh. Mm. Gay agenda nope. with Mac. Mac. Ah, sorry, I messed. I was early. I was excited. Okay, so. <laughs> hey kids. <laughs> Announce your voice. Shut up. Hey kids. <laughs> Are you yes. not tired of RuPaul? <laughs> Me neither, surprisingly. <laughs> so guess what? <laughs> uh-huh. RuPaul's Drag Race UK just premiered. And also RuPaul's... Everyone already knew this was going to come. Everyone knew this was happening. If there's a UK drag race, there has to be an Australian drag race. And they just announced RuPaul's Drag Race Down Under, which is all of Oceania, which is um, Australia and New Zealand. Uh, yes. And I'm very, I'm, I'm very curious, because when I was down there... <laughs> The drag I saw was not up to par to what I wanted, but you know, uh, maybe I didn't see the great yeah. greatest of the great. So, <laughs> no, we'll I feel see. like I mean it's the same. We have different taste levels, and that's just a fact. I will say this, and I got dragged a little bit. Uh, I said on uh, my other podcast, I was like, I'm kind of tired of all this drag race, blah blah blah. And people were like, Well, Mike, you know what? Just like don't watch it, blah blah blah. Like they were kind of <laughs> reading me a little bit. And I yeah, say, I mean, I feel th- that. I mean, I feel that like I get a little bit tired too, but at the same time, I remind myself, wait, there's like how many NFL things and all that shit and all that yada, yada, yeah. yada. Like there's not that many yeah. shows about very gay shit on, on the TV. Yeah. So, you know what I mean? You can make, there's like 700 housewives. There could be 700 drag races. <laughs> You're right. No, they're right. And then, you know what? That's what I was going to say. Everybody has a fucking valid point. You know what I was just saying? I was just like, what what worries me isn't the fact that like, oh, I'm tired of all this drag content. No, like I'm all for it. But I feel like it's going to, I don't know. I always thought it would be harder for me to actually like digest all the content and really find mm-hmm. like people I want to follow. But I guess the ones that are worth following will stand out amongst yeah. the crowd. It actually yeah, just it makes it harder out. for them, not for me. So. Mm-hmm. The Trixie Mattels, the Alaskas, they still come to here. I tend to follow the queens where, like, as soon as they walk into the workroom, I'm like, I love that aesthetic. I'm going to follow you. I'm going to see whatever you're up to. Like, Utica, oh, my gosh. Utica's Instagram is absolutely insane. (laughs) Is it really? (laughs) Yeah, you have to look at it. Her looks on Instagram are, like, killer. Like, they're better than what what she's been showing on on the show. So I'm very, I was very shocked when I looked it up. I was like, holy shit, Utica. So I'm very excited to see what Utica does for this season. Um, hopefully okay. she stays long, but we'll see. Um, I mean, I'm down for it. I, I follow people like if a- after a year of drag race, if you're still doing things, then I follow you. <laughs> you follow you. Because there's people that just like disappear and they don't do anything ever again. And like they weren't down to play the game. Like if you're going to be around for a while, I'll, I'll, I'll follow you. So, mm-hmm. yeah, or if that's... I meet you in person. <laughs> What do you mean you're in person? Uh, if yeah. that, when will that ever happen again? Will that ever happen again? Are we going to meet each other in person again? I'm Are we saying meet positive. People? I think it will. I, I think it, I think, Hopefully. I think eventually it will. LA, LA. What do you think about... Go. Well, LA's vaccination plan seems to be going well. I don't know. People are getting vaccinated. They're moving on to next levels. Apparently, they're doing like people 65 and older now. Mm-hmm. Um, so we'll I'm see. I'm just waiting my turn. I'm just yeah. waiting for they, it, they the said they said mid May for everyone else. I'm trying I'm Great. trying to get I'm trying to get before mid May. I'm trying to see if I can be classified as high risk. I doubt it because I have no I I don't have any doctors anymore because I switch health. Well, you're higher risk than me. <laughs> so I know that, I think- sir. I woke up this morning. Oh my god, I woke up this morning with a sore throat and I freaked out. Bitch, I freaked out. 
Max, bitch, I was you like, don't it's leave happening. your house. <laughs> I'm not, not down, but corona. I still freaked out. Mac. <laughs> you are fine. You're fine. I'm good. Yeah, I'm fine. I'm perfectly fine. And plus, um, if you do get it, you're rich. <laughs> I'm rich. I'll just I'll just pay for some like what, what was it? Stem cells? That's what that's what Trump got or yeah, some shit. Just eat a fetus. <laughs> eat a fetus, eat a fetus, fetus. raw. You'll be fine. Just gonna eat a fetus raw. Do a do a little ceremony with it. Just like sashimi, but it's fetus. <laughs> sashimi, but it's fetus. Um, so drag race. <laughs> Speaking oh, of fetuses. Race. Here's <laughs> what do you think about this current season? Because I will say I, I, I'm very torn because what I don't like that there's been three episodes and no one's gone home. Yeah, that's been that's been too much. Honestly, UK Drag Race. I, I watched the first episode. I have WoW Presents Plus. <laughs> I'm terrible. Um, but um, UK Drag Race, I watched the first episode and I would say it's a lot more exciting than US Drag Race right now. That's only because we haven't seen anyone go home yet. And we haven't seen everyone's been been very kumbaya and they're trying to like force this drama between the the pork chop crew and the winner's circle but i don't know if there's really that yeah. much drama once they all meet each other in the next episode yeah but um in, yeah the uk drag race they are they started eliminations from episode one i was like this is the drag race i've been waiting for so and we'll it was see a, it was an elimination it was an elimination that shocked me Whoever went home, I was not expecting to go home first on UK Drag Race. UK Drag, yeah, I did not expect the person to go home. I don't want to. I don't want to spoil it for people if anyone was watch it. it. But I'm not spoil it. the but person was, that goes home, I was, I was very when they when they were in the bottom, I was like, oh no. And then when they started to lip sync, I was like, oh no. <laughs> I know. I was God's love. <laughs> it was very I shocking. Was, I think it was shocking for a lot of people because their looks weren't even that bad. It was just the judges didn't understand, and that's fucked up. I know. I feel like I feel like that was on purpose. Maybe, maybe, maybe they were like very busy and they had shit to do next <laughs> because this was filmed before COVID. So maybe they had like True. other things. They had like a tour to go to, and maybe they're just like to promote themselves. And so they got the lim- They had to find the excuse to eliminate them early or something because it made no sense yeah. why they were eliminated like that. It was. I feel like they well, did not deserve to be in the bottom in the first place. <laughs> I don't think they deserve to be in the bottom at all either. Mm-hmm. I thought there was a lot of people that did much worse. But, but mm-hmm. going back to the you, you um the American the American Drag Race. The theory someone said to me, they're like, they think that since it was filmed during COVID, that that's why they're in two separate groups because they can't have them all in the same. They couldn't film them all at the same time. But then they all come together in the next episode. I just think it was a two part premiere. That's because I originally thought it was the COVID restriction thing too. But then I saw the next episode, Mm -hmm. they're all coming to meet together. And I was like, okay, I think that was just like. They did this season six though. But. They did it season six, but one person went home each time. And mm-hmm. I don't like how they like they did the whole force drama where somebody like, oh, we're going to uh, like, vote to eliminate somebody and then bring them like right back like five minutes later. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I think, Do you know what I'm I saying? I think this season is really built on trying to build drama. They're really trying to build some drama around it. They're like really trying to force it. I knew no one was going to yeah. be eliminated. I was like, there's no way in hell RuPaul is going to allow all these new queens to eliminate a queen that they just met without RuPaul's decision. <laughs> yeah. Especially if the producers had plans for that person. Because, mm-hmm. you know, mm-hmm. production production has the desired elimination order planned before the show even starts. <laughs> RuPaul has a winner it, selected before the show starts. Let's be honest. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, I mean, at least for all stars. <laughs> yeah, 100% for all stars. But yeah. I even think that like, you could even tell from these past like few episodes of RuPaul's Drag Race um, who Ru really, really loves. And it is Miss Amon. <laughs> Everyone loves her. Everyone loves yeah. her. She deserves all the love. She's gone through a lot. And she's still up here kicking and jiving like nothing happened. <laughs> I love it. No, I love it too. Um, but no, I, I'm, I'm thoroughly enjoying all the drag race. I, I feel bad for everybody though because I know normally they make, they make a bulk of their money back that they spend on designers and everything by going on tour and doing all the mm-hmm. shows. And like I feel like they can't do that right now. So... I wonder how they're handling all of that. I know. It's interesting. I wonder how the the past cast handle it all. You know what I mean? Like Jada Essence Hall, she was crowned during COVID screwed. and now is didn't really do much because of that. And that sucks for her. <laughs> it, yeah, it kinda it's kinda just like sucks to suck, I guess. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And it's it's terrible mm-hmm. to say, but it's the truth we'll of the matter. I really I hope that um I mean the the thing all you can hope is that they get like casted for like what is that work the world tour show work the world but also you know what don't feel too bad for them because there's always stuff you could do like i know um 
there, there's a there's um, a, a WeHo famous drag queen, Ray Latrey, never been on Drag Race, but just like known in the community. Mm-hmm. They started um, um, a show. Like, what Ray is it Latre called? It's, and, it's like, um, and Barbie's Addiction are probably like the two WeHo famous <laughs> drag queens Ray, you always see. Well, everywhere. I mean, there's a that that <laughs> haven't been that haven't been on RuPaul's Drag Race, but they started um, like an Instagram live show, and then they have like, oh, here's the Venmo at the bottom if you want to tip the girls, and they do all like the lip syncs and the dancing mm-hmm. and like the outfits on there to like just be creative and continue going. And I feel like that's something that any content creator could do. Like if you really if you won RuPaul's Drag Race, you should be able to have the creativity, especially mm-hmm. with the following that you have. To try and to also winning RuPaul's Drag Race. I mean, you never know. Maybe she was like the press that she was getting. Maybe she was like cop- making them pay for it. You know what I mean? Like if you're the winner of one of the biggest drag presents in the world, maybe press has to pay to I mean, talk to you. I wouldn't be surprised. If maybe they're smart. The money. <laughs> if, I mean, if they're smart. Yeah, absolutely. Mm-hmm. <laughs> We'll so, see. We'll see. We'll see. But yeah, that's all, that's all my thoughts thus far. Who do you have a favorite? Is Utica your favorite currently at this moment? Um, aesthetic wise, because of their Instagram, yeah, Utica is one hundred percent my favorite right now <laughs> because of that only. Um, on the show, personality wise, I'm in love with Olivia Lux. I love Olivia Lux. Olivia Lux is surprisingly like. A sweetheart. I was very caught off guard by how just wonderful of a person she was going to be on camera. <laughs> yes, <laughs> like Love that, is, that is if she if she doesn't win if she doesn't go into top three, um, she's one hundred percent Miss Congeniality in my opinion. Yeah, <laughs> uh, I think I love the Lux. I think I think um, I think Mick has great looks. I want to see what they do as a performer. Mm-hmm. They started I'm a YouTube channel. You told me about that, didn't you? Yeah, because I tried to be their editor. Should along be their with editor. <laughs> Am I here just trying to edit? I can't edit for myself, but I can edit for other people. I promise. <laughs> edit for other um, people. <laughs> but yeah, no, that's, you're I mean, that's the so only gain news. That's the only gay news I know. I haven't really been like, I haven't, I don't know. Every, the gays have all been like very toxic and fighting. So I've just kind of been like, <laughs> I'm out of my own shit. You know, I don't know what else is going on in the gay world except for what's happening on TV. They're still, bitch, they're still planning more trips. You know how th- I was invited to more things. I, they Jesus were like, they were like, they were like, oh yeah, do you want to come to this and this and this and this month? And I'm like, they, no, they really don't give a fuck. Like, no one cares. No one cares. So I'm like, okay, <laughs> all right. And that's I'm gonna, the tea. I'm gonna sit my ass here. I'm gonna sit my ass in this fucking house. <laughs> I'm thinking about doing some kind of like staycation, just like go somewhere alone, and just like I, vibe. yeah, I did that. I did that a lot last year. I just went, there was a hotel down the street. I would just go to the hotel down the street or I went to this hotel yeah. by the beach. That's great. That's money though, but it's great. <laughs> I mean, I can do that. I'll do that. Whatever. Um, all right. Wow. <laughs> and that's my gay do- agenda. That was the longest gay agenda. I think <laughs> no, you, you always say that talking. you always are like, you're always like, that was the longest gay agenda. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I don't expect it, it to last fine. so long anymore. Okay. They're fun. I told you they're good. At least, you know what? At least you've been on a streak of having it. Remember when we had a studio and every day you were like, oh, yes. oops. I was like, let me search real quick. <laughs> <laughs> because in the beginning, I was so I was so destined on making gay agenda about like actual news and not just like, oh, RuPaul's Drag Race. You know what I mean? Well, it can be whatever you want. <laughs> That's the thing. It's your fucking segment. It can be it's about my whatever you want. It doesn't have to be podcast. It doesn't have to be about news because a lot of gay news is sad and it, like it's brings sad. down. Yeah, that, I le- I said that like in the beginning of the podcast. I was like, the problem is a lot of gay news is sad. And I don't want to do a lot of sad gay news. <laughs> yeah, it brings down like the vibe, and we got to bring it back. We got to be like fart jokes, sex, well, <laughs> Mike's fucking somebody. Let's talk about like you know what I mean. <laughs> so, <laughs> speaking of. <laughs> Time for hookup time? Yeah, it's time for hookup time. Okay, three, two, one. It's, it's hookup time, time with, with Mike. Mike. Ooh! Ooh! Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I like this thing where I keep reading you options. Mm-hmm. Um, and some that I've uh, offered to you in the past, I'm going to re-offer to you. Okay. I'm, okay. Uh, we have one asleep, that says, uh, fuck and learn. The story of the first time I ever bottomed. Oh, no. We have um, this again. Uh, I went to lose my virginity. He lost a tooth. Okay. Did they resend it third, or was it just in on the list? I just, we, we didn't, we didn't choose it last time. So I'm okay. just going to put it back. 
<laughs> along with, am I too straight? What? Am I too straight? Am, am I too I straight? Too straight? What do you... Who? Yes. What is like a straight story? What What's happening? I don't know. You want us to... We could, we could try and find out. Kind of. <laughs> yeah. You know, well, oh, we've been paying very... it too much to the gays. You know, it's time to oh. get the straight some attention. Oop. You know, they've it been they've been just be... really lacking all this attention. Okay. They haven't really gotten that much this year. And so I'm very sorry, uh-huh. straights. Uh-huh. Um, well, this is the attention so, you guys have been asking for. <laughs> Yeah, the, yeah, yeah. So glad you said all of that. I don't think this is a hookup time. <laughs> oh, but we're gonna read it anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. Like, what, oh. is, what is the straight story? It just says, "Hi, Mac and Mike. Love your podcast. Watch it late at night when I'm drawing gay porn." That's it. Uh, no, um, I mean generally gay shit. Totally not porn. Why would I do that? Anyway, I'm a girl and I've been dating this guy for years. Okay. We're going to pretend I know how long and I identify as bi. However, okay. I always question if I'm gay enough to be bi. <laughs> I've never dated a girl and I'm concerned that people are judging me because I say bi but I'm not dating this guy. During quarantine, I've been having too much time to think and have been wondering about this for literally months what do you guys think am i too straight let me answer that with this if i know you're, you're straight, bisexual you're gonna answer that yeah <laughs> that's you your, know here that's let me answer that for you if you're too straight then i'm too gay you know what i mean you 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 literally you 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 identify however the hell you want to identify just because you're not fucking enough of one gender doesn't mean that you completely just like disassociate the fact that you still like that gender like i don't sleep i definitely sleep with a lot more guys than girls mm-hmm. you know what i mean uh 100%. doesn't mean i don't like them <laughs> you know what i mean <laughs> just because you sleep with more of one doesn't mean that you don't have the attraction towards another and you don't have mm-hmm. to prove yourself by having more sex with one you know what i'm saying I just like the statement i don't think i'm gay enough to be bi what yeah here let me say let me give you a perfect example there's a bunch of straight people that ain't fucking no one ever doesn't mean that they ain't straight there's a lot of true. straight people that never got laid but that doesn't mean that they're asexual true so period that's period sis t now let's get the fuck out of this and go to a real story <laughs> I kind of want to hear about how someone lost a tooth. Really? Yeah, we can hear the tooth losing story. I went to lose my virginity and he lost I'm a just, tooth. I'm just not really into losing virginity stories because I just find the idea of losing your virginity is just a stupid thing. And that's why I'm just so like against it. I don't know. I just, I've never okay. found any importance around a virginity in the first place. So just the idea Great. of like losing one, I'm just like, okay. <laughs> Well, like we also everyone, got an email everyone. from we also got an email from somebody asking for virginity advice. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ! So anything else you want to say? Shitting on people? <laughs> anything else you want to say? You want you want to continue to not give the people what they want? So I understand. Like I know, I know a few people that are still virgins now, and they 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 put so much focus around it. And I'm like, mm-hmm. I feel like that's the problem. You put so much focus on the fact that you're a virgin. Like, don't put focus. Just do. Just go. If you want to have sex, go have sex, bitch. <laughs> well, well. Not now, but <laughs> later. Yeah, not now. <laughs> but I will say this. Listen, I didn't put any focus on my virginity. And I lost it probably in, like, the worst of ways. And I do mm-hmm. a lot wish that it was, like, a nicer experience. Like, I feel like the first time you have sex sets a tone for mm-hmm. the way you view sex and like, you continue to carry it. You know what I mean? Like, I completely disregarded it. I just wanted to do it to do it. And I wanted to get it done with. And just, like, I feel like that's how I carry all of sex. Mm-hmm. And I feel like if you, you know what? I, I say, you know what? If you want to do it, do it. Don't overthink it, which is, I think is your point. Yeah, don't overthink also, it. Like, if you want to do it, do it. I mean, it doesn't have to be with, like, a random stranger and someone you're not really attracted to. But I feel it like. It could be whatever just, you want. I, but, like. There's, there's, there's a few. I, I'm saying it from a personal experience with people that I know that are still virgins mm-hmm. all this stuff. And I always talk about being still a virgin. They put so much focus on just, like trying to find like the right person or like giving like 105,000 excuses of why they can't lose their virginity to this person or why they can't push on or like you know what I mean like get sexual with a certain person I'm just like if you want to lose your virginity then lose like stop over like you said stop overthinking about it just do it yeah bitch. just do it you know what do it with somebody that doesn't suck 
Do it with just someone don't... that's going to eat your ass. Honestly, <laughs> yeah. Honestly, if you're gonna do, do it, for it the first with, time, do it, do it with for the some, first time. If, yeah, if you're gonna do it for the first time, do it with someone that likes foreplay. Okay. Hell yeah. Let just oh, let them warm uh, you up into it. Don't do it with someone that just wants to spit and stick it in. That's not the best way to lose your virginity, girl. <laughs> and if you're young, if you're young, make sure you inform them that they need to do foreplay because especially uh, these kids be mm-hmm. fucking young, dude. And I know these young boys don't know fucking shit about foreplay. Mm-hmm. Yes. You know what I mean? No one's teaching them right. <laughs> no, no one's teaching people about foreplay, especially in the gay world. Foreplay, for some reason, is not a, is not a top thing. It's the porn. They, I, blame no, yeah. the porn. I blame the, the porn. I blame the porn. Yeah. They think you just get right in bed and it's just... <laughs> they, they, uh-uh. they think you could just walk into a random alley and just stick it in. <laughs> it's like, no, girl. A random lift. A random you lift. Fuck, you ever fuck in a random lift? Have you ever fucked in a lift? No. Have you ever fucked? Have you ever f- fucked in a taxi? No, I have fucked in a taxi. <laughs> of course you have. You're from New not York. In an Uber You're from or a Lyft. East not Coast. In an, not in an Uber or a Lyft because I'm classier than that. <laughs> Wait, no, a taxi's worse. <laughs> well, I had sex in an Uber Black. Um, <laughs> no, have, I mean, there's a lot. Um, wow. I'm well, just thinking. I've had a great life. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Okay. Um, am, I, am I reading this story or should we just meh? I can uh, look up another one. Wait. Someone said a pull cue up my ass after my first kiss. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> a pull cue up my ass Go after off, my queen. first kiss. Go Honestly, off, queen. Hold on. Okay. <laughs> Are you ready? Do you have it? Yeah. Take a sip of your drink. Take a sip of your drink. Take a sip of your I'm drink. I'm finished. I am empty. Wow, good for you. We love an alcoholic. <laughs> Thanks. <clears throat> Hope you're well. I know Mike likes these short, so I'll bullet point this. Thank you. Ooh. <clears throat> In September of 2018, it's the first week of university, or as we call it, Freshers' Week in the UK. Freshers' Week? It's a UK week? story. Oh, wow, UK. Oh, yes. Do you know, do you, ever, do you ever find it, like, funny when UK people call cum spunk? Give me that spunk, love. <laughs> Whenever I hear that word, all I think of is the cock destroyer, so that's the only time I ever really heard it coming out of a British person's net mouth. I want your spunk all over my face. Oh, give me that spunk. (laughs) I feel like it sounds even more disgusting. Spunk. Spunk. Wow. Have you ever had sex with a British person? I'm sure. (laughs) I'm sure. (laughs) I'm almost positive I have. Definitely a few Australians. (laughs) I like Australians. Same, oh, what do same. Australians already, call cum? I know I like Australians. I don't. I think they. Yeah. What, call what do Australians call too. cum? Hold on. Hold on. What do Australians call? Cum? They probably call. They probably call it spunk too. Spunker. What do <laughs> Australians call cum? Spunk. It's spunk. One hundred percent spunk. Sprog. 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 <laughs> Sprog. Sprog in that spunkity spunk. That's the title of the podcast. Oh, I want your sprog in this bussy. Oh, I want your sprog in this bussy, mate. (laughs) Oh, my God. Also, old Australian, an old Australian term for an infant. Is a sprog? So they call it semen and babies. Oh, it's like they want want your kids. So I want your sprog. The missus just gave birth to a little sprog. I want your sprog all over my face. I want your fucking sprog. The burger's got three young sprogs at home. (laughs) Oh, give me that sproggy, sproggy deliciousness. Yum, yum, yum. I I eat it all up. (laughs) Anyway. (laughs) Anyway. Oh, my God. Um, Okay. Uh, Freshers' Week is all about parties, clubbing, getting drunk, and hooking up. So is my life. That's my my life. Um, it's legal to drink at the age of 18 in the UK. I've been openly gay since I was 15, struggling with my identity, but I've always been quite feminine, so probably us- usually just assumed it. Okay. Mm-hmm. 
Ironically, I had never done anything with a guy romantically or sexually until this night. I was 19 at the time. So our halls block, everyone from our dorm decided to hold pre-drinks in the community room, a place where everyone can hang out before going to the club. I'm with my flatmates, aka dorm buddies, and we're there for and and with fuck my god, my dyslexia has been so bad. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. It's kind of like fucked up that I forced myself to do this, but it's getting better. Okay, I'm with my flatmates, aka my dorm buddies, and we're there with loads of other people from other hall blocks. The vibe is really weird. It's a mix loads. of friendliness. We're there with and loads of other people because... from other hall blocks. We're there with We're loads to... of other people from other hall blocks. We're about to all over each other. Lo- it's spunk, spunk. No, it's spunk. We're going to get all that spunk all over us. There's loads of people. Loads. That's also something they say in the UK. Loads. They say loads a lot. Loads. Like, they say, they say a lot. Like a bunch of say loads. Oh uh, loads of people. <laughs> Okay, sorry. <laughs> You're good. You're good. Uh, okay. I keep locking eyes with a tallish white man. Very gruff rugby build. I'm thinking he's either into me or he's homophobic. The gay dilemma. <laughs> Why is that a relatable thing? It's like, I don't know if he's into me or if he's just homophobic, sis. Honestly, both are hot. So let's like, go. I don't know if he's into me or if he wants to kill me. But at the same time, why am I turned on? <laughs> yes, do it. Slay me, daddy. Anyway, I'm average height, half Indian, nothing special, but not ugly either. Same. I lay off okay. too much alcohol because I want to create a genuine interaction with people. So, oh my God, I need a lot of alcohol to create a genuine reaction with people. Oh my God. Yeah. Anyway, okay. <clears throat> so, <clears throat> hold on, hold on. I have a lot going on over here. Got it. So I'm still quite aware of my surroundings. I see the guy okay. again, and he's drunk and flirting hardcore with a girl. I'm Ooh. nearby and eavesdropping. They're, they're a couple, and he doesn't go to my university, but his girlfriend does. He's just over the party. She seems pissed at him. Though, which is why he was flirting a lot and overcompensating. <sighs> you gotta fuck her boyfriend. She That's what you do. You find boyfriend. the boyfriends that have had it. You find the boyfriends that have had it with that girl, and they're just tired of dealing with the bullshit. And they're saying, you know what? You just need you just need a bro sometimes, man. You just need you just need you another just need, guy. You just need you just need the mouth you just need the mouth of a good bruv. Okay, you need some you just need a good bruv mouth. <laughs> Yes, and a, and a, a good a good bruv mouth. Just, yes. just 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 pour your spunk in a, in a nice bruv, mate. <laughs> in my flat. In your flat. People are gonna get mad at us. People are gonna get very mad at us. That's, <laughs> I can't wait. No, probably not. Did you ever see my video of how to Dan and Phil? Literally, the entire time I was just saying T and Crumpets, T and Crumpets. <laughs> if I were to get canceled, it would be that video. <laughs> probably. <laughs> Probably. Anyway, uh, she got mad at one point and left the room to get ready to go to the club with two friends. Her boyfriend was stumbling about socializing with random people, but he seemed like he was sobering up. The room is emptying as people get ready to go to the club. He stumbles over to me and puts his arm over me and says, I'm going to puke. Me and my doormate grab... That's how it starts. Me and my doormate grab him and take him to the closet bin where he pukes up a storm. At some point in the interaction, I think I drop my keys and ID. I tell my doormate that I'll catch up with the... When are you guys going to fuck? When are you guys going to fuck? He's still slightly tipsy. He doesn't rugby. fuck. He's... I don't think they fuck, right? He just gets like a no, first I... kiss and then like a pool, pool cube up his ass. So. I want No, I want them to fuck. I want them to fuck with the pool cube. That's what I'm hoping for. Fuck if it's the not, pool. then I'm totally let down. DP action okay. with, the, with the pool cube. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> I'm still slightly tips. I, I'm still slightly tipsy. Rugby boy said he feels bad and offers to help me look for it. It's just. I don't care about any of this. I don't care about you losing your ID and he's helping you. F- when do you fuck? <laughs> I thought they said they made it short and they bullet pointed for you, Mike. <laughs> Are you skipping forward? Yes. <laughs> I'm skipping a lot. Oh my okay. gosh. Um, 
I'm only skipping ahead a few lines. Okay, but I'm low-key playing dumb to see... Okay, wait, I know what... Okay. Oh, maybe I shouldn't have skipped. God damn it. Oh, my God. People were playing oh pool throughout the night. It's a staple in my common room. He does the classic pool troop. Troupe? Troop. Troup. Troop. troop. He does the troop. classic pool troop. troop. He he asks if I know how to play. I say no, and he stands behind me and attempts to teach me how to use it. I know what's happening at this point, but I'm low-key playing dumb to see where, where it'll go. I've never had any action before, so you can imagine after four years of being out, I was ready for anything to happen. I say, uh, I'm still not into it. He asks, what are you into then? Still hovering over me, I turn around and face his chest. He's in my personal bubble. I can feel the heat Ooh. of his breathing. He low-key stank, though. <laughs> because of the alcohol. That's good. Some people are into that. That's good. That like man, Musk. I, musk. It's Musk. I like the Musk. It's musk. I take a risk and reply with boys. So he says, I'm into boys. Before I could even say the S in boys, we were making out. It was my first kiss. I always imagined fireworks and Disney, but I got drunk. But I got drunk. See? But I got a drunk See, this is what I mean. This is what I mean about the people that about, like try to lose their virginity. They're so like, they expect it to be like some like notebook shit. You know what I mean? It's like, no, yes, yes. sex sex is awkward. It's going to be awkward. <laughs> it's hyster- yeah, no, you it's have hilarious. To, you just have to accept that. You know what I mean? Sex is funny and mm-hmm. it's awkward. You just, you just lean into it. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so then he goes, things quickly escalate. Both of us have undone our trousers, and it's just me in my hand. What? What? I have no clue what I'm doing with it, but I'm... Oh, I guess so he's jerking off the person? I don't know. He puts me on my knees. Oh, so y'all went from making out to to jerking off? Jerking off. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe this is UK lingo, but I don't know what the fuck is happening. Okay. Anyway, he puts me on my knees, and before I can even assess whether I'm ready, it's in my mouth. Oh. I'm just, like, hyper-analyzing Wait, like, the situation. Wait, right at the pool? T- Wait, at the pool? T- they go into a room, or just, like, at the pool table in front of the party? I, I, get, I, get, I guess. I get also his girlfriend. He has a girlfriend. He has a girlfriend. Sis. Okay. Um, <laughs> we love this. <laughs> Uh, okay this ain't seem as good as it does in porn like this tastes weird and i'm really gay loki having an existential crisis while my head is bobbing up and down you know that's very true have you ever been like really in the mood to suck a dick and then you're sucking the dick and you're like why why did i want this yes why did i want this yes i've been in those positions (laughs) yeah and it's just like it's like i've wanted this for the past like hour and now i'm here and i just want it to end yeah and i was like okay hurry up <laughs> yeah i'm like oh god and you, you gotta like pretend like you're into it and they're always and they, they're always like yeah you like that dick and you gotta be like yeah <laughs> oh god it's awful <laughs> Uh, he lifts me up and just bent me over the table and I'm like whoa 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 I've only ever put a finger in there before nothing else and he's like oh we can take it slow proceeds to put a finger and build it up to like three I'm like how the fuck did I get in this situation one to ten minutes ago I was looking for my keys okay (laughs) So Looking he's panicking. Keys. So now he, okay, he tries to put in his thing, but it doesn't fit. So he's panicking and I'm panicking and the door is still unlocked and anyone can walk in, but everyone left for the club. He then took the pool cue and put the thick rubbery end in my hole. And I was like, this dick feels weird, LMAO, only to realize it, it was the pool cue. With lots of spit on it. See, this, is why you, this is why you don't fuck straight I'm, men. This is why you, this don't, why you fuck don't fuck straight, straight men. men. This is why you this don't fuck why. straight men. They do stupid no. shit like this. They they're gonna try to fuck you to the ass. You're a virgin and they just try to stick a pool cube into your ass with spit, bitch. Absolutely <laughs> not. The disrespect is unimaginable right now. This is the title of the podcast. This is why you don't fuck straight men. I don't understand why people are so like addicted. Like, like there's certain gay people that only want to chase straight men. I'm just like, what are you like looking for? Disappointment, bitch. They don't know shit. <laughs> Do you think you're gonna find a straight guy that automatically knows how to fuck an ass? No. 
No, no. No. Ghosts don't even know what they're doing. Oh my god, there's more. There's literally, oh my god. Okay, so wait, there's more. He's like, <clears throat> I'm like, what the fuck? But it starts to slip in, and he's like, it's opening. First of all, a pool cue is really, like, yeah, they're pretty not, small. They're not that big, yeah. Not that big. Anyway, okay, so it's opening. Let me just try to open you with this. Low key, to this day, it was the best thing I've ever had up my ass. Jesus it Christ. felt good as hell. Luckily, I had not eaten much that day because of nerves. Otherwise, I'm sure this would be very different. <laughs> he puts it in, and like, I'm vibing. Like, I'm vibing. <laughs> I'm like, it's a vibe. You're vibing. I'm vibing. Go cue in my butthole. I'm vibing. He doesn't know what to do with it, so he's moving it up and down slowly. But girl, it's hitting different. Oh, he slowly guys. pulls it out and puts his own thing in. It was underwhelming, especially after having the cue in there before. Can you imagine getting fucked and being like, the pool cue felt better? I'd rather you fuck me with that pina stick. I mean, hey, some, some of these gals out here like a lot of firmness up their ass. You know what I mean? <laughs> they don't want that God. squishy cock. That squishy cock. little floppy ass. <laughs> a little floppy straight caucus. <laughs> he was tipsy and the adrenaline was high. And honestly, 30 seconds was, over, 30 seconds was an overestimate. Mm. He was done so quick. And I was like, um, put it back. He was confused and said the cue. He was taken by surprise, but Suggested it in the first. Okay, so. Oh. So, so they, they, just the really, they, so, they fell so, in love with so, pool. So, so, yeah, they, yeah, yeah. This is how they became the pool champion of 2018. <laughs> this, is, um, this, is, they, this, is, this is Queen's Gambit, but for pool. <laughs> <laughs> this is how you became the pool champion. <laughs> the pack of Gambit. <laughs> bad i don't think that's bad i think that's fine i think it's good i think that was a great story i loved it, was, it. it honestly it's interesting now i want to come back next week and be like bitch you know how we were talking shit about that pool cue well girl <laughs> i told you i wasn't sitting right i tried a pool cue. I, I try I try to pull cue. I lost the eight <laughs> balls somehow. I don't know. Next, next, epi- next episode, if you see a bunch of bull pool cubes in the back of Mike's camera, mind your business. <laughs> <laughs> you shit. <laughs> you see a pool cube yeah. resting on that mirror, bitch. Mind your business. <laughs> uh oh. Oh no. Ramen. Well, at some point, my mic died. <laughs> it was full battery when I started. Full battery when I started. Is it off? It like was completely full battery. Off? Yeah. Jesus Christ. Well, I guess we'll end it now. We'll end. We'll end it now. <laughs> we've, been, we've, been, we've been going on for an hour. When did it? When did it? When, did, when was the last time you checked it? Mike, it could have died like a quarter way through, bitch. <laughs> you guys can find me everywhere at Mike and TV. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, now we gotta use the audio from the fucking box for the Zoom call. It's gonna be so bad, Mike. Look at that. I don't even need my mic anymore now. Fuck it. So. No, no, no. no. I will still use yours. I'll still use yours. We'll just go. We'll just go. We'll, okay. we'll, we'll, like, vibe. Okay. we'll vibe. We'll vibe. We'll vibe. Bye. We'll just vibe. Okay, so you can find me anywhere at Mac Does It. That's M A C V O E S I T, bitch. M A C D O E S I T. And you can follow us everywhere at Messy Pod. Yes, there you go. Messy Pod. Email us at messypodgmail.com. Um, look it up. Our, Listen our, to our, us and watch us every Wednesday. Our podcast is every Wednesday on SoundCloud, Spotify, and I think anywhere you can find a podcast. Someone emailed us being like, um, 
is it, are you going to make it available anywhere like other than SoundCloud and Spotify? I'm just like, I believe it's available everywhere. We just don't post that it's available everywhere because we don't know these. Yeah, other, you can find it. Really, yeah, search, we don't know these other search, podcast sites, out. but it is. We get the emails about them being on other podcast things, so it's available. Yeah. We just don't know <laughs> what yeah, just, they're called. Just search it up, or you can find it on YouTube, youtubecom slash pod, and Pod, and be sure to you know. Send us your hookup stories, your gay agendas. We'll talk about it. And be, remember to leave us a review. Rate us five stars. Yes, rate us five stars. And we're going to read the reviews next week, okay? When Mike's Mike is actually working. And also, more, and also, moral of the story, just lose your virginity, bitch. Don't think about it. Yeah. Just hop, just hop on the dick. Hop on the dick. Don't, don't make it a straight guy. Don't make it. Don't make it a straight guy. There is no need for that. Even if you're a girl, fuck a gay guy. <laughs> fuck a gay kid first. Fuck a gay guy. <laughs> fuck a gay guy first. You deserve no. better. <laughs> and you <laughs> have just been dizzy. You've been dizzy. Bye. Bye. Bitch, I can't believe that shit died. Oh my god.